what is up you guys thank you so much for being a part of my channel i really and truly appreciate each and every one of you guys we're going to go ahead and jump in straight into y'all's reading today see what y'all need to know what you need to be aware of what you can expect first let's check the energies around you guys um in your environment in the next 24 okay your in the energy around you guys Ooh, oh i heard ooh, baby i love your way every day um i want to be with you night and day I don't know what song that is. That one's old. But that's what I started hearing. But I was almost like, ooh, lover boy, lover boy, lover boy. There's somebody who has a crush on you and is wanting that to be known. Oh, my goodness. And this person is in your environment, okay? This is uh, somebody here who's going to be trying to make their way towards you pretty soon. They have a proposition. They have an offer, okay? So, next 24 hours, the environment around you is feeling like her plentiful okay so plentiful okay abundant okay so balance something is coming back into balance in your environment something that you may have been you know curious as to when something was going to be balanced out um, for some of you this could be your emotions for others of you if you are a female like they keep taking me straight to her twat Okay, they keep taking me straight to this girl. I don't know if it's like menstrual, menses, something in, in regards to uh, reproductive organs, okay? Um, if you've been having issues with something connected to that leveling out, um, the environment's going to be very conducive to this. This could also mean that there's somebody here who's bringing in some kind of, um, I heard teas and tinctures, okay, so bringing in some kind of information that's going to help you along your journey for for whoever that is who has been suffering with um some kind of situation going on there okay i feel like you're going to be getting some kind of idea that's coming in from left field okay it's something that maybe you didn't i heard why didn't i ever think of this okay <clears throat> so um i feel like there's also this energy of i told you it's like reproductive and um so sacral chakra, okay, the energy around you and your environment in this next 24 hours, it's like orange, sacral, okay, creative. Um, you may be getting very creative with um, the way that you are decorating your home for some of you. Maybe you're wanting to switch things up, change things up. You're being um, a little bit bold with your colors. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Um, I feel like there is something that has just like sparked your interest or maybe somebody has come in and like got you on this creative kick. It's like being around certain people who help you flourish in the best energy that you could possibly be in. It's like people who think the same way. They're introducing you to new things, new ways of being, maybe new textures. Um, they started showing me something like Mediterranean. Okay, some of y'all may be into um, Mediterranean things, or there may be somebody who invites you out to um, some kind of like Mediterranean spot. And this is where you're getting these ideas or it's like opening your mind up. You're like, I feel so at home or at peace in this area. Um, I feel so at home or at peace with these colors. Uh, I wonder like something that you would have never even thought about. You may actually incorporate into your living experience, into your environment, in your home life, okay? Um, this is definitely giving creative passions um, soaring, and it's like you're doing things that are out of the norm for you, and you're having a really good time doing this, okay? Um, some of you may also be reconnecting with a Leo here in the next little while, okay? This could be somebody here, like a good friend is over here bringing you these ideas, and something's really taking off, okay? Um, others of you may have some kind of invitation that is being offered to you from a Leo, okay? I feel like you are, you're spoiled for choice in this next 24 hours in your environment. It's feeling very homey. <laughs> homey. <laughs> I heard a homie lover and friends, okay, so some of you, I guess you need to be aware of this Leo who may be trying to travel towards you, who is very interested in you. They want to be, and then I start hearing lovers and friends, they want to be more than a friend, okay? So for those of you who are thinking that this friend is just connecting with you because of, uh, they, oh, they're just, you know, that's my homie, that's my friend. No, they want to be more than a friend to you okay so they're about to invite you out to do something with them because they're wanting to solidify some kind of 
energy between the two of you, okay? I feel like that there's somebody here who's wanting to take something a step further, so you need to be aware of this, okay? This is somebody who you would have fun with, and I, got I split it, and I've got contracts and ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles and three of pentacles that came out, okay? So this is somebody here who, when you're around them, you have a surplus of energy is what they're saying. Um, this is somebody here who makes you see things in different ways. Um, this is somebody here who's also very creative in the way that they go about their day-to-day -day life. There's something about when y'all are with each other, you feel unencumbered. You feel very light. You feel very airy, okay? Um, this person, I feel like this is somebody that you might have been overlooking or not thinking that this could be anything more than a friendship, okay? Because it's a really good friendship. Some of you may be a little bit nervous about this because I'm telling you this and you're like, oh shit, I never thought of it that way. And then this person is over here like really wanting to connect with you. They're really wanting to solidify something with you, okay? This is definitely giving somebody shooting their shot, possibly because you've recently gotten out of, I heard a divorce, okay? So, some of you may have been um, divorced or gotten out of some kind of long-term committed partnership or relationship. There's somebody here who is trying to rush in and swoop you off your feet, okay? They're wanting, they've been trying to give you some time um, to heal from something that you may have just walked away from or just gotten out of, okay? Uh, maybe you exerted a lot of energy, time, resources towards a certain event or environment that didn't work out for you. I feel like this person's always been in your corner, okay? This is somebody here who may have watched you go through some kind of funk, but it's like they gave you your space, okay? This person is trying to come into your environment in this next 24, okay? They are wanting to get you back into that energy to where it's like that fun-loving energy, something that you haven't felt in quite some time. They're going to pull out all the stops in order to get you hap uh, to be happy again, okay? Um, I heard on the scene, so uh, this person is definitely going to want to be seen out in public together, and it's like you're not thinking anything of <laughs> we look like we're together. I feel like this person is going to try to get you to open your mind to a new way of being, okay? And it's not even just a new way of communicating with them. This is like a new way. They want you to see them in a new light, okay? Um, they gave, <laughs> they, it's like they gave you... Um, a chance to kind of go out and do your own thing. They didn't say anything or maybe they weren't as upfront as they should have been previously. But this person here is trying to shoot their shot with you. Okay. I feel like it's very subtle. Like this person is very subtle. It's like you could overlook this so easily. And I feel like you have been, <laughs> you've been overlooking this. Okay. So how are you going to feel about this person who is trying to make themselves known in your environment? How are you going to feel about this friend who is trying to take things a little bit further? We've got two of pentacles. We've got five of cups. And you've got nine of wands. Okay, so some of you may not be okay. And then we've got five of swords. All right, so five of swords over five of cups. Like, I feel like, okay, so this friend, this friend who is coming in, who is trying to be seen in a different light with you. Okay, how you're viewing the situation or how you're viewing the topic of this person being interested in you. Um, you're sitting here questioning your friendship. Like, were you just friends with me? Uh, like, or were, well, so was our friendship not legitimate? Okay, so, uh oh Some of y'all may be a little bit, um, shocked by the person who is coming towards you in this next little while. Um, kind of professing their energy or their love for you or letting you know that they're interested in you. You are going to sit here and be so in your head. Oh my God, you're going to be so in your head. Um, you're going to be sitting here wondering if the friendship was faked, if this person was just somebody who, um, they weren't really your friend. They were trying to get in your pants. Like, I feel like you may have been through something very, 
very harsh. Like, I feel like you may have had a harsh romantic cycle where things didn't go according to plan, okay? Maybe you thought that something was going to be long-term or it was going to be worth your time, and it's like you found out that it wasn't, okay? Um, this could have been somebody here who you've gone on road trips with, like... Oh my goodness, this person might be single a lot of the time or they stay single, okay? Maybe they date around, but they stay single. You may have even questioned this person's sexuality at times, whether they were actually, um, I heard straight, gay, bi, or unbinary, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going down that road. Anyway. You may have questioned, even if this person was that way, like, this is also giving, like, you think that your, you know, the best friend that you've been hanging out with for years may possibly be gay because they never bring their uh, romantic interests around you or they don't speak about them in front of you. And you, you may have even, like, <laughs> if you thought, like, your friend was gay or whatever, like, I can see that you probably undressed in front of this person not thinking anything of it. And lo and behold, this person had a crush on you the entire time. You would have felt so awkward had you known that at that time when your titties was out in front of them. But hey, it is what it is now. So you're sitting here. It's like, I don't necessarily feel like you're too happy about this, okay? Uh, I don't know if you're too happy about this because you're a little bit worried on, well, what the hell happens if this goes south okay you can't think about that that way um if you were to give this person a chance you're like what the hell would happen if like if things go south that means i'll lose like my best friend okay the link for the entire video will be listed in the description box below follow us over there on the patreon bye